Yes, you read that absolutely right. You can now take the IELTS test from your home. Maybe sitting on your couch, sipping a cup of coffee. Because IELTS has officially launched a new test named as IELTS Indicator. But is it really worth all your money, time and hard work? Actually, there are a lot of interesting points about this test that I'm going to tell you in this video. Like, is it valid for immigration or for higher studies? I will tell you about its validity and about the test pattern as well. What will be its schedule and when will you get the test result? And also few other very important points as well. So if you're interested, stay tuned. Hey guys, I'm Chitanshu from Dream Abroad and I regularly make videos to help you immigrate and settle abroad. So if you haven't subscribed this channel yet, please consider subscribing and pressing that bell icon so you don't miss any of my videos. Okay, so what is IELTS Indicator? IELTS Indicator is a new online test designed to support students during the COVID-19 situation to help keep their education goals on track. It is an online test and can be taken from the comfort of your home. The test is available for a limited time while IELTS testing is currently suspended due to COVID-19. This test is not available worldwide, it is available only in few countries and India, Pakistan, Bangladesh are definitely some of those countries. We will talk about it in detail later on in this video. As IELTS indicator provides an indicative score only, it is not accepted by all organizations. So before you book, be sure to check with your university or educational institution. So this is the very important point and I will definitely come back to this point later in this video. Okay, now one of the most important questions. Is IELTS indicator a replacement for general test or the academic test? So as I told you earlier, this test is only for students. So it is basically a replacement or you can say a temporary replacement for the IELTS academic test and it has not been designed to be a replacement for IELTS general test. So all of those people who are dreaming of immigrating to Canada, Australia, New Zealand, UK and settle in these countries, this IELTS indicator test is not for you. It is only for the students for their higher studies abroad. Okay, now it's very important to discuss the test pattern. It's a live online test with an allocated start time and duration. You cannot pause the test and come back and resume it again. The listening, reading and writing parts of the test need to be completed in one sitting. 2 hours and 45 minutes is the duration, while the speaking test might happen a few days before or after the other sections, just like the general IELTS test. Now another good part is that results would be available within 7 days and the test will occur once a week. The speaking test which would be held individually would be taken by an IELTS examiner over a video call. Talking of practice material, there is some practice material available on the official website of IELTS. You can go and check it out. Okay, now let's talk about the fees and those countries where this test would be conducted. Okay, this is the official page from the British Council from where you can book this test. So you can choose your country here. Let's say if you are in UAE, you can choose UAE, you can check out the dates. So every week you would see a one date until the mid of May, at least until now. And uh, if you select one date, you can see that the timing is mentioned and the fee, the fee is 149 US dollars. So if you want to check some other countries, maybe like Pakistan, you can check it. The fee would still be the same, $149. I think the time is also same, local time, 12.30. Also, if you want to check India, then the dates are same all over the world, wherever they're conducting these tests, and the fees is also same. And this is the date when you have to give the listening, reading, and writing test. You'll be informed about the speaking test within 48 hours before the test schedule time. All the students would be very concerned that which all universities would actually accept it. So I tried to do a lot of research and to be very frank with you, I could not find many universities who stated that they would be accepting IELTS indicator. 
I could find only a handful of universities and all of those universities were in UK. Don't forget that IELTS has got strong roots in the UK because if I'm not wrong, it was actually established in the late 1980s in UK. Okay, now the very important question. Is the IELTS indicator same as IELTS? So I want to be very clear about it that IELTS indicator is not a substitute for the in-person IELTS test. Please note that not. It is definitely not a substitute for the in-person IELTS test. A test taker may still need to take an in-person IELTS test at a test center once the testing resumes to meet the requirements of the university or education provider. And these lines I have copied from the official website of IELTS, that is IELTS.org. So guys, is this test really worth it? To be very frank with you, I don't think so. The major factor being that there are only handful number of universities at the moment which accept this test and they're all UK universities only and I'm pretty sure that IELTS would try their best that this test gets accepted all over the world in other educational institutions and I will definitely update you once they upload such details on their website or such details are out over the internet. I'll definitely try to do some research in the upcoming days as well and I will keep you updated about this. But for now, I don't believe that this test is really worth your money, your effort, your time, your concentration and that is my personal suggestion. So if you actually want to go ahead with this test, maybe you don't want to postpone your higher study plans, you should first check your university or the educational institution if they accept IELTS indicator. If yes, then only you should go ahead with it then it's a good thing for you, but please be very cautious before booking this test. So thank you guys for watching this video. I just hope that the information shared in this video was crystal clear to you guys. I hope I made the point very clear. I hope that I explained all the details to you guys. But still, if you have any questions, you can put them down in the comment section below. If you think that this video can be useful to your friends or colleagues, please share it with them. And also, if you haven't subscribed my channel yet, please click the subscribe button before moving on to the next video. Thanks again.